The last couple of weeks have been chaotic between NASA and SpaceX, and the reason behind all of it is Starship. As we all know, NASA often depends on private companies to carry out many of its programs. They chose SpaceX's Starship years ago for the Artemis moon landing mission, back when the lineup for returning to the lunar surface was first being formed. But now, things have taken a surprising turn. NASA is suddenly shifting its attention toward other companies, and there are signs that they might even try to pull the contract away from SpaceX. Many people see this as unfair, because it would slow down Starship's development at a time when progress is more important than ever. Musk is not staying silent about this. He has pushed back strongly, and recently he revealed something important about Starship's real purpose in the Artemis program. We will look at all of that in this video and understand what it means for both SpaceX and the future of the moon missions. But before we go deeper, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future updates. For years, Everyone imagined that humans would return to the moon on SpaceX's massive Starship HLS. NASA selected Starship for a clear reason. The Artemis program was built around the idea of using modern spacecraft to take humans back to the moon for the first time since Apollo. Under Artemis 1, NASA's SLS flew around the moon in 2022 and showed that the rocket and capsule could survive deep space. Artemis II will carry astronauts around the moon for a similar test, but without landing. Artemis III is supposed to be the mission where astronauts finally return to the lunar surface. And for that landing, NASA picked SpaceX's Starship. When NASA awarded SpaceX the contract in 2021, the deal was worth around $2.9 billion. But to reach Artemis III, SpaceX was given a rough timeline. They had to prove refueling in orbit, demonstrate a successful uncrewed landing, and do all this before 2026. SpaceX did miss several deadlines. Starship did not mature as quickly as NASA originally expected. But the delays did not mean nothing was happening. Starship is the most difficult rocket system ever built. It is taller, heavier, and more complex than anything in history. The rocket stands at about 120 meters tall when stacked on the Super Heavy booster. It produces over 16 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. For comparison, that is more than twice the power of Saturn V, the rocket that carried astronauts during Apollo. No company has ever attempted to build a rocket of this size. And despite how challenging Starship is, SpaceX has made major steps forward. They have launched Starship 11 times already. Some of these flights ended in explosions, especially during early tests, but almost all of them achieved important milestones. Starship reached space multiple times. It survived re-entry. And something even more impressive happened. On three of those launches, SpaceX successfully caught the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla Tower. This is something no other company has ever attempted, let alone succeeded at. The idea of catching a rocket with giant mechanical arms was once seen as impossible. But NASA is not seeing these achievements the same way. Instead of recognizing how much progress Starship has actually made, they are blaming SpaceX for not moving fast enough. Because of this, NASA officials recently pointed to Blue Origin as a strong competitor. He said Blue Origin appears to have clearer progress toward building a lunar lander. That statement immediately caught Musk's attention. He responded on X by saying that building a permanent lunar science base would be far more meaningful than simply repeating what the Apollo missions did in 1969. The goal is no longer just to reach the moon first. The real mission is to stay there. And the fact that NASA is now choosing Blue Origin over SpaceX is honestly frustrating. On one side, you have SpaceX, which is launching rockets almost weekly. In 2023, SpaceX launched 96 missions of its Falcon family of rockets. In 2024, SpaceX launched 134 Falcon rockets, including two Falcon Heavy flights, setting a new record. So, by those numbers, SpaceX is clearly very active and operational. Even in 2025, they already passed their previous record with over 135 launches. On the other side, Blue Origin has far fewer orbital launches. 
Their new large rocket, the New Glenn, only flew its maiden orbital mission on January 16, 2025. That means Blue Origin is just beginning its orbital heavy lift rocket activity. They had earlier worked on their smaller suborbital launcher, the New Shepard, which has flown many times but only in short suborbital hops, not reaching orbit. New Glenn itself stands about 98 meters tall in its two stage version. It is advertised to carry about 45 tons to low Earth orbit and about 13 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. Meanwhile, the Falcon 9 stands around 70 meters tall and is frequently flown, launching weekly or twice per week sometimes. It carries around 22 to 25 tons to low Earth orbit depending on configuration. The heavier version, the Falcon Heavy, is today the most powerful operational rocket, capable of about 63 tons to geostationary transfer orbit, or more to low Earth orbit depending on payload. And what's most important of all is that SpaceX has Starship. And that changes everything. Starship is not just another rocket. It is a completely new level of capability. When it is stacked on top of the Super Heavy booster, it reaches around 120 meters tall, making it the largest rocket ever built. At liftoff, it produces about 17 million pounds of thrust, which is more power than any rocket in history. When you compare this with Blue Origin's New Glenn, the difference is shocking. New Glenn is around 98 meters tall and can only carry 45 tons to low Earth orbit. Starship, on the other hand, is designed to carry 100 to 150 tons, and future versions may push that number even higher, possibly over 200 tons. That means Starship can lift more than double what New Glenn can, and in some cases, nearly triple. On top of that, Starship is meant to be fully reusable, while New Glenn is only partially reusable and has barely begun proving itself. Its first major test flight even had issues with the booster landing. But what makes the situation even more ironic is that NASA is blaming SpaceX for delays, while their own rocket, the Space Launch System, is turning into a complete disaster. SLS has been delayed for over a decade. The original plan was to launch as early as 2016, but the program kept slipping year after year. Even Artemis 1, which finally launched in 2022, came after multiple schedule changes, cost overruns, and technical problems. And the technology behind SLS is not new at all. A lot of the hardware is based on designs from the 1970s and 1980s. The rocket uses engines that originally flew on the space shuttle, engines that were reusable in the shuttle program, but now NASA throws them away on every SLS launch. Each of those engines costs tens of millions of dollars, and they simply burn them once and drop them into the ocean. It makes no sense. SLS also uses solid rocket boosters, the same basic design as the shuttle boosters. These boosters are heavy, outdated, and expensive. They cannot be reused. And their manufacturing process is slow and complicated. On top of all that, SLS costs an unbelievable amount of money. Every launch is around $4 billion. That is billions for a single flight. And since the rocket is completely expendable, NASA has to rebuild the entire thing from scratch for the next mission. This makes the launch rate extremely slow. Maybe one mission every year or every two years at best. So when you compare everything, it feels unfair that SpaceX is being criticized, even though they are pushing boundaries with a fully reusable next-gen rocket, while NASA's own system is stuck. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.